Yo, what's up? It's me, Green Films Official. Um, so today I watched Gunpowder Milkshake at the cinemas, and it was pretty good. This movie follows Sam, an assassin portrayed by Karen Gillan. She works for a group of people called the Fam, but when she kills the wrong people and veers off mission to rescue an eight-year-old girl, things turn sideways. This movie has an appealing style. It's a beautifully shot movie. It looks pretty nice. It sort of feels like female Kingsman meets female John Wick. Now, I, l I really enjoyed Kingsman The Secret Service, and I've heard good things about John Wick, so right off the bat, that's pretty appealing to me. This movie has great choreography, and the action scenes are really well done. This movie doesn't hold back in terms of what it shows. This movie can be very bloody and even gory at times. That may put some people off, and I get why, but I'm not someone who minds gore too much, so I mainly thought the action scenes were really great. This movie is a bit comedic, more so than I was expecting, and it felt kind of like an Edgar Wright movie in that regard. There are some very funny scenes in here, such as, you are a very impressive young woman. There's no other person I'd rather kill people with. There's also an awesome library in this movie where they have, like, a bunch of guns hidden within the books, and it's like, you're gonna need a Jane Austen in the Psycho Clock in the book. Something that pleasantly surprised me, um, I thought the library would just be at the start, and then they'd never go there again, but they do, and then there's an awesome action scene there, so it was very cool to not only have the library come back, but have that action scene in there. It's, <clears throat> it's amazing. It's probably the best action scene in the entire movie. I liked the villains in this movie, particularly the main villain, portrayed by Ralph Einson. He, he was really menacing for the brief time he was in the movie. He had this, like, mental. he had this turn about him where he where he was affable um and and collected but you feel like he could explode at any moment he so the he was pretty scary but more than that he had an understandable motivation of wanting to avenge the death of his son so it was nice to see that he wasn't just someone who wanted to kill the main characters just because the film needs a villain <laughs> The acting is pretty decent from everybody, even the eight-year-old girl. Nothing amazing, but nothing absolutely terrible. I do want to get into some issues I have with the movie, and one of them I can't really talk about without spoiling the movie, so if you don't want any spoilers, skip to the timestamp on screen. Three, two, one. I thought the main bad guy was disposed of way too quickly. He's built up a lot throughout the film, and he remains in the shadows, and he's mentioned a lot by all the main characters, and he's doing all these deals with the firm. So when we got to the final battle, I thought they were going to have um, treat this confrontation with the bad guy as this big deal. I thought it would have been great to see this, like, monster come out of him. Like, you killed my son, I can't ever forgive you, die. But that's not really what happened. They seem to be alluding to that, but then he's just immediately killed. He talks to Sam about how great his son was and how all the terrible things he's going to do to Sam. But then um, Sam's friends just rock up and <laughs> kill him straight away and kill all of his henchmen. It was just so disappointing because I thought um, a, f um, a climactic battle with this... <laughs> ter terrifying man would have been great but what we get instead is this one take sequence of all of sam's friends killing all of his henchmen in a diner and i mean it's a well shot sequence it's still good but i think it would um getting to know the main villain a bit more and seeing his grief come out in this climactic battle would have been great but we didn't get that we see a bit of that come out when he's telling Sam about all the horrible things he's going to do to her. But then Sam's friends just show up. Bam! Shot in the head. That's it. Main villain gone. Again, the diner action sequence is still a good scene. But I think it's just a little bit disappointing that we don't get to know more about the main villain. I wouldn't have had such a big problem with it if he hadn't been built up throughout the entire movie. 
As for my other issue, I thought Sam was kind of underdeveloped. Yes, we have the flashback of her in the diner when she was a kid, but I don't think that's enough. I just think it, um, it would be cool if we knew a little bit more about why she's so willing to just abandon the firm, which she's been raised by since she was like 12, by the way, to save an eight-year-old girl. I guess you could say she's just doing it because she's um, a good person at heart, which, yeah, she kind of is. But the thing is, she's been raised since she was 12 in an air, in an environment that says focus on the mission and nothing else. It's not too big a deal, but I think if the film was a little bit longer and showed a bit more, um, showed a little bit more about who Sam is, I think it would have been way more engaging. But despite those couple of issues, uh, I really enjoyed Gunpowder Milkshake. It's a very fun action thriller movie, and there's a lot of creative action set pieces, like when this evil doctor paralyzes Sam's arms, so she has to figure out how to kill these three bad guys um, with paralyzed arms. I thought that was a very creative scene. Yeah, I think it's a movie with a lot of style and talent, and uh, if you want a female version of Kingsman, or you just want a badass movie to see at the movies this weekend, Gunpowder Milkshake is not a bad choice at all. Thank you for watching my Gunpowder Milkshake review. Uh, if you enjoyed, why not leave a like and subscribe to the channel? If you haven't already, your support really helps out. Uh, I have a few things coming up for this channel, mainly uh, a Resident Evil series review, because I've been playing those games recently, and uh, I thought it would be fun to do a video on them. Also might do a review of Luca um, pretty soon. Also, I'm working on a new short movie called The Witness. I'm currently writing the script, so look forward to that. I hope to hit 50 subscribers before the year's over, and we're really close to hitting it. So if you could subscribe, that'd be fantastic. And yeah, I've been Green Films Official. I hope you enjoyed the video. Goodbye.